In this video, we are going to look at atmospheric water generators. A more appropriate term for them is atmospheric water harvesters. We will explore which ones are available for purchase and which ones are the best ones in terms of their efficiency. In recent years, we have seen several AWG developers spring up. There are dozens of suppliers across the world that are developing machines that can harvest water from humidity in the ambient air. They are made in different sizes. Smaller ones furnish 10 liters a day, while larger ones can produce over a thousand liters a day. Although there are different technologies for making AWGs, the most common one is condensation of air over a cool surface, where cooling is carried out using vapor compression refrigeration cycle. The other technologies include desiccant and hydrophilic salt absorption. There are two companies that have products based on desiccant absorption. They are Hydropanel by Source Water and Watercube by Genesis Systems. Research is still being done on gel, metal organic framework, zeolite and hydrophilic salt based AWGs which will consume much less energy but no commercial product is present at the moment to purchase. The refrigerant cycle based AWGs have found a niche in office spaces as these units can be installed in indoor spaces where there is no water supply, for example in office corridors, conference halls, etc. They are used as water dispensers which provide hot and cold water at the press of a button. However, the additional feature of supplying hot and cold water means more energy is used up by the machine. For customers, they are being pitched as devices that require no pipes, plastic bottles or delivery trucks. The focus has been on improving their utility by adding features for hot and cold water rather than energy efficiency. In terms of lowering running costs, however, the efficiency matters. The list here includes only the refrigerant-based AWGs that have been developed by 12 different companies. Their capacity is suitable for household consumption and ranges from 10 to 30 liters a day. They are rated from the best to worst based on how many liters they can produce for every kilowatt hour of electricity consumed. At the top of the list, there are two contenders. First is Jenny by Watergen. It has the capacity to produce 30 liters a day with just 9 kilowatt hours of electricity. This gives it 3.3 liters per kilowatt hour of production efficiency. Its price is on the higher side as Watergen is the pioneer of this technology and one of the first to bring the AWG to the market. The Jenny is available for $3,500. What is surprising, however, is a product by an Australian company that is at par with Watergen's Jenny in terms of production efficiency. This product is called the Aqua 30L. It has the same capacity of 30 liters per day at 3.3 liters per kilowatt hour. Interestingly, the price for the Aqua 30L is lower by almost $500 it is available for $3,000. Third on the list is the new SS30. Production capacity is again 30 liters, but the production efficiency is slightly lower at 2.8 liters per kilowatt hour. Magic Water comes in next with 25 liters capacity and production efficiency of 2.6 liters per kilowatt hour. At number 5, we have Pure Air Water PAW90HE with a capacity of 30 liters and production efficiency of 2.5 liters per kilowatt hour. At number 6, 7 and 8, we have machines that have similar production efficiency of 2.1 liters per kilowatt hour. These are Watt Air PWHR25, Drinko Water 25L and FND F20. The 9th and 10th spots are occupied by Solaris Water Generators E20 and Powerology PAWBSL. The capacity of both these machines is 10 liters and production efficiency of 1.8 liters per kilowatt hour. At number 11, we have Drink Air 30L machine with 1.6 liters per kilowatt hour efficiency. On the final spot, we have the Skywells 5TE. 
The capacity is 23 liters, but the production efficiency is just 1.4 liters per kilowatt hour. One trend to note here is that smaller machines of 10 liter capacities have generally got lower production efficiency. The efficiency is improved by the addition of an air-to-air heat exchanger. This allows the outgoing cold air to cool down the incoming warm air, hence making it easier for the incoming air to reach its dew point. Also for these machines to work, the humidity value needs to be above a certain level. The production capacity of these machines has been estimated at 30 degrees centigrade and 80% relative humidity. This equates to absolute humidity of 24.2 grams of water per metric cube of air. This humidity level is representative of temperate climate. These machines may not generate the same level of water in colder environments. Almost all of these machines come with four to six stages of water filtration in addition to the air filter at the air inlet. These filters usually include the following. Sediment filter, ultrafine membrane filter, mineralization filter, PAC filter, and ultraviolet filter. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from it, then please do give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more such content. Thank you for your attention.